Hey guys, so for today's vlog video I wanted to do a much requested video and do a review on my Nike Fuel Band for you all. Now, if you guys watch my videos on a regular basis, you will know I bought this um, at New Year as part of my New Year's resolutions. I thought it would be a great motivational um, tool, I guess, to keep me fit in the New Year. So if you guys don't know, first of all, what a Nike Fuel Band is, it's basically a pedometer, so it tracks your steps and your movement throughout the day. You wear it as a bracelet um, and you're meant to wear it at all times, um, obviously apart from when you're charging it, um, so that it can monitor your movement throughout the whole day. They are expensive, they're around £130 in the UK. I have the pink one and I have the, um, I believe it's the small or the medium, it's the ladies size one anyway, there's only, they make one for like women, one for men and then like an extra large one if you are particularly big, like a big bulky man. In terms of how you put it on as well, it has a little button here that you press, it undoes and actually the clip that um, kind of joins it together is a USB and you plug it into your computer and you can download stats on your computer and export it and share it with friends and stuff. Not a feature I would ever use, uh, really, personally. But yeah, so that's how you put it on as well. So you just put it around your wrist and then clip it in. So it tracks your movement throughout the day. It has a little button, as you can see, where you can track your Nike Fuel. Nike Fuel points are based on how much you move, but they aren't the same as calories. Um, so you kind of get used to that. It is kind of strange to start off with because you're like, well, what is the, what are these points that I'm gaining? But once you kind of get an idea of how many you are burning throughout the day um, over a period of time, you kind of get used to like what is normal and what is good and, you know, what is good progress at what point in the day for you. So anyway, you press it once and you get fuel, you press it twice and you get hours one. Now, this system is quite strange and it's one that I don't really think is very good. Um, Nike say that if you move consistently for five minutes um, in an hour, you will win that hour. And in order to win the entire day, you have to win seven hours. Now this actually sounds quite easy, but if you do have an office job or something fairly sedentary that isn't moving around a lot, moving consistently for five minutes in an hour is actually harder than you would think, because it's not like making a cup of tea and pottering around, you actually have to be constantly moving for five minutes. So it's going for a walk, going for a run, um, being in the gym, and then it goes on to calories, and then last but not least you have a time, so it's a, a watch essentially as well. It's 10.32 right now. That is how the band works on its own, and you can use it on its own and just have it as a pedometer. However, it also has an app associated with it on the iPhone. So as you can see here, this is my chart for January, and you have a target for each day, and it shows you if you reach the target you get to green, if you almost reach it you get to yellow, and then red is if you've had a bit of a lazy day. As you can see I had a few lazy days. Um, and it can show you calories per day, which is on top of your base rate. So it's extra calories that you're burning off. Um, steps per day, goals hit, hours won per day on average, average daily breakdown, and then it has something called sessions. Now, for me, that was one of the biggest downsides to this, was um, it doesn't track gym work very well. So if you are in the gym, if you are on an exercise bike and your arms aren't moving, as, you know, if you think about it, it's not going to track that. Um, if you're on a cross trainer as well, it doesn't track it very well. So for example, if you are pottering around the house, moving constantly but slowly and not particularly burning much energy um, in comparison to being in the gym, you'll actually burn more Nike fuel points doing that than you would going hell for leather on an exercise bike. Um, for me this was an issue because I don't live a very active lifestyle in terms of my movement throughout the day and a lot of my exercise is based in the gym, especially during January when it was raining all the time and getting outside and walking and running outside was not really an option. I don't like running outside anyway. Um, so that was a real downside to this for me, um, was the actual tracking of exercise if you are in a gym. And I'm guessing most people that would buy this type of device would do a lot of their exercise in the gym as well. Another thing that I was slightly disappointed about um, was the lack of being able to link this to your diet. I find if I am looking to like maintain a healthy diet, if I link my exercise to what I'm eating and using apps like MyFitnessPal, MyDietDiary, things like that, I find them really useful. Um, also, even just a food diary where you write it down. Essentially, that was a big downside for me and I know some of the competitor products to this do offer that and they do link to 
MyFitnessPal. I know Jawbone, um, my sister-in-law actually just got one of those, and she seems to like it at the moment. There are downsides to all of them with the Jawbone in terms of the actual hardware. It seems quite unappealing to me, and it also doesn't have the um, display on it like this one does, so you can't track it kind of as you're going. So all in all, if you are thinking about buying one of these, I would say don't. Um, I really think they're overpriced. You're essentially paying for a pedometer. Um, yes, the app is nice, but it's not as good as I had hoped it would be. It doesn't have as much functionality. It's a lot based around rewards and like medals and stuff that I just really couldn't care less about in terms of my progress. I wanted it to be more kind of interactive. Um, in terms of being a motivator to get up and move, yes. Um, it does work that way. It sends me a reminder every hour on my phone when I'm wearing it and it also reminds me um, by lighting up every hour to move and, you know, get going, which is good, it, especially if you are based in an office job and you are sat on your bum most of the day. It's good to have that reminder. However, for the price, I think this is just so overpriced. It's essentially a pedometer. I had a pedometer when I was a kid that I think I got free by collecting tokens on cereal boxes. I sound really cool. I think if you do run, it might be nice if you run. However, you can get the Nike, I think it's the Nike running app that has like the GPS that you have on your phone that will track your runs as well. It tracks your speed and just gives you more information than this does anyway. So if you are in possession of an iPhone or a smartphone, which most people are these days, I would say save your money um, and get a couple of apps instead of um, this gadget. It is nice but it is a gimmick, it is a novelty, and I think it was a total waste of money. That is it for my review of the Nike Fuel Band. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry Nike, it's not more positive if people at Nike watch this. I'll be back on Wednesday with a vlog. I'm going skiing this week, so hopefully I'll be able to take you guys along with me, and we can have a nice time, and I will see you next week. Bye! Yeah, you did. I did the red carpet, <laughs> and it was freaking awesome. I don't know if you can hear us, because this is happening right now. We're up here. Looking good.